Hello, everybody. This is Chris Sarda at Cast Comics on Instagram and Twitter. And, you know, normally I do mostly comics here, but uh, I just finished WandaVision Episode 3, and I, I really love this show. I mean, I, every show can't be like WandaVision, but it's... Uh, I just... I love the fact that the MCU is so big that it doesn't have to worry about making some kind of standard superhero movie that it's so big that it can, it can experiment this way. Uh, and WandaVision, you know, in episode three, we, we sort of get more of the same shtick that to me hasn't got old. I mean, after 10 episodes, maybe it will. Um, but, uh, the, the way it mixes the history of the sitcom and, and that kind of, that kind of silly, uh, comedic world with just the pure weird. Um, and, and on top of that with, uh, uh, you know, with the wider story that's happening, uh, with the characters that with the individual characters, especially, um, I think just makes it just a, a really compelling show, uh, a really fun sort of ride to go on that, uh, that continues to progress just enough, you know, it's moving just enough that I can see we're going somewhere, uh, but I'm getting a lot of the, the strange creativity and, and history of the sitcom, uh, all in this show. So I think if you're watching WandaVision, you, you can already see that you, we, we knew it from the beginning that it was going to have the sitcom E feel. Um, I was expecting it to completely leave this, uh, by this episode. Um, and I think it has, it's progressing that way. Uh, but I think that there's that light statement to say about what television was in the 50s, 60s, 70s, and now we're going to head to the eighties, um, which I don't know what, what it's going to look like. It's almost a, a guess, right? Is it going to be, you know, was family matters eighties or nineties? You know, I guess it was early nineties. Um, uh, but, uh, for, for whatever reason, I feel like the 80s, I just associate now with E.T. and Stranger Things and stuff like that. So, But I doubt we're going to get that because that's more of a drama. Um, I think one of the best things about it is that I'm not sure what each what each character's role here is. Um, you could tell that Vision is is a little bit in the dark. He's uh, He's being tricked about what the wider world and what really is happening here. Um, of course, Vision, as far as we know, is dead. But uh, whenever he seems to start figuring out things, of course, there's spoilers here uh, for episode three. So this is our reaction together. I should just say that at the beginning. Um, Wanda can use what we hadn't seen in the MCU, something that feels like a uh, reality warping power. So those that read the comics, of course, know that she can do that. And she can do that to a really, uh, a really powerful degree. Um, we see her, we see her sort of rewinding and redoing stuff when Vision starts to figure it out. Um, but then again, Wanda, it's 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 not clear that Wanda's created this reality like I thought before. Um, there's obviously someone trying to infiltrate it to some extent, and uh, and and she's popping them out. So, uh, and whether these people who are, you could see the sword logo. So for those that. Uh, have read the comics, or there's actually a sword comic right now. That group, for those that have read that, it's it's a little bit hard to tell whether they're good guys or bad guys. Um, uh, sword is a little bit more difficult because they're supposed to be with shield, but then some of these characters, like the beekeeper and whatnot, look like aim uh, soldiers in their like beekeeper outfits. That you know is a joke in the Marvel universe, essentially at this point. Um, so it's keeping me on my toes. I'm getting uh, I'm getting all the weirdness I want. The, the show has this great artistic quality. The fact that you can do something like this, you know, and green light it just shows how big the MCU really is. Um, and then be successful at it. Like, to me, it's not boring. Watching these three episodes have just been a, a delight, you know. Um, it's like the way I felt about Ant-Man. Like, is, and, and not that these shows are similar, but when Ant-Man came out, I was like, well, obviously this movie, you know, this movie only has so much to do with the wider continuity. It introduced a character, it'll move that character forward through the continuity. But when I watched Ant-Man, the action was so unique. 
you know, I, you know, a lot of like Spider-Man, Captain America sort of action, Black Panther sort of action, and the action in Ant-Man was very unique, right, just because of his powers. And uh, they're doing the same thing here. You know, it, it, when you're doing these movies or you're doing these shows, you have to sort of, you have to define, you have to define the movie by the powers, and that's what will make it special. You know, what's special about this character, um, you know, and their history, of course, too. So uh, it's keeping me on my toes uh, from the be very beginning. The first few minutes, you knew something weird was happening, uh, and uh, and and throughout this, I'm I'm at the same level right now. Like I don't know really. I just I know what I told you. I know visions in the dark, and she warps reality to some extent. I know someone's trying to infiltrate in there, and, and I know Wanda has some measure of control in it, and um, and in the MCU, she's you know they're. She's gone through so much trauma in her short time in those films with her twin dying, which they, uh, which they talked about here and, um, and then having the babies. And then of course, vision dying, um, in his fight against Thanos. Uh, but there's vision. He's there, you know, there's Wanda and she's in some kind of pocket universe. You know, she's not really even American. So I don't know how, I don't know how all this you know, decade by decade sitcom stuff uh, can even work or whether she has uh, full control of those powers like she does in the comics. So uh, just a lot of fun and just incredibly creative and something that um, something that at least the, what I want to get out of this stuff um, uh, brings a lot of enjoyment to me. So WandaVision still an A+. Um, and just because I give it an A+, plus doesn't necessarily mean that it's the best thing Marvel has done it's uh, in this context and at this point in time it's uh, just a fun creative thing that i enjoy and i'm happy that they're doing anyway thank you guys for watching chris arda at chaos and comics instagram twitter and youtube